Hello adventurers, we're here with another Dragon and Home video. We're going to be discussing the new update coming out tomorrow, version 2.3.0, for the Christmas update. Update date is set to December 22nd, 2023. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. The ceremonious winter fantasia is about to begin. Let's celebrate together. Winter star celebration, heralding the winter fantasia. Winter Star shines brightly in the northern sky, marking the annual Winter Star Festival. Dear adventurers, please immerse yourselves in the festive atmosphere. The event duration from the date of the update till pretty much midnight January 7th. <clears throat> Let's see on the east coast that's going to be 1059, west coast is 759, EU is 1559. Season's holiday quests to help adventurers better immerse themselves in the atmosphere of the Winter Star Festival. Season has prepared numerous daily holiday quests. See, there we have the Winter Star Festival shop and the Winter Star Quest, Winter Star Festival, beginning of the quest line. There, let's share delicious gingerbread together. Take the quest Celebration and Sharing, where you can receive a gingerbread house. Using the item Gingerbread House on other players in a, who are in a begging emote, you can both receive and share delicious gingerbread cookies together. Use the gingerbread. Using the gingerbread, there is a chance for you to wear a Winter Star hat on your head. Random color, so you either get the green hat or the red winter hat. Winter Star Santa's Mysterious Messenger. Winter Star Santa has prepared gifts and needs a reliable messenger to help him. I choose you, adventurer. Hold the letter and click on the mailbox within another adventurer's home to complete the quest. Once completed, Winter Star Santa will send a festive mail to their mailboxes. So you can go to any mailbox of any other player, and if this is following the same suit as previous versions, you can go to somebody in your co-home and use their mailbox. You can only use it once per day. So you'll need to go to different players' mailboxes. When you finish the quest, you will receive Winter Star Mystery Realm Ticket. The Winter Star Realm Ticket can also be exchanged daily at Eason's Winter Star Festival Shop. This under the mistletoe. Interact with other players under the mistletoe. Two players direct interact with the mistletoe, meaning you click on it. To complete the holiday quest, Evergreen. Get ready for Winter Star Stocking. Everyone is bustling about for the Winter Star Festival, running a series of errands for Easy, which allows you to receive generous awards like Winter Star Stocking. Don't forget to hang up the stocking. After Winter Star Eve, they will become filled Winter Star Stockings. After the event, taking down the sock won't yield any rewards, so you want to hang this up, and then after the event is over, you will get a filled stocking that we can collect. After you remove down the filled stocking, you can get rewards. So each level range between 1 to 10, 11 to 20, and 21 to 30 will have some similar and some different rewards. So for all level ranges, you'll get 200 pink stars that you can use in the Star Shroud shop. For the lower level range, you get minor vigor potions. And then for 11 to 20 and 21 to 30, you'll get lesser vigor potions. The level range 1 to 10, you'll get two different crops, 99 seeds i don't know if it's going to be seeds of the actual crop but you'll get two stacks of different crops randomly from a breeze plane for the 11 to 20 range you'll get chant forest crops and then for 21 to 30 you'll get blazing desert crops for levels 1 through 10 you'll also get a stack of copper ore flax and torn leather for level 11 to 20 you will get iron ore cotton and hard hide leather and for level 21 to 30 you'll get argentite ore flame cotton and thick leather. Snow giants accompany you through Winter Star. There was once a saying that the Krampus are usually sealed by the sun, but they were, were break, broken free. <laughs> Sorry, English is uh, not translated correctly here. But they were break free from the seal during the Winter Star days to cause chaos. Adventurers, please team up and defeat the Krampus family to save the Winter Star. Find the Krampus youngling in the normal realm near the Winter Star tree at Breeze Village. You can enter once per day, and upon clearing the Krampus Youngling, there's a chance to obtain, excuse me, there's a chance to obtain experience, currency, and normal gears. Krampus on the Hard Realm 
or in the hard realm can be found near the winter star tree in the, at the chant forest snow village each entry supports one to five people and requires one ticket so that was that ticket that we mentioned earlier by completing the mailbox quest. and krampus has the updated model there very cool Upon clearing Hard Krampus, there's a chance to obtain blue or purple gear such as the Winter Star Staff and Winter Star Tome. You know, a lot of people have been asking for a better version of the, of the staff and the tome, but here we have a purple quality staff. See, it's got a uh, magic power max as 213, endurance and intellect max as 30. Got two blue stats on it and the Winter Star Tome. And these can have inlay slots on them. The Epic Winter Staff has a higher chance of granting two new healing skills, Healing Chain and Group Healing. The so Healing Chain looks like uh, it's based on proximity. As long as you're near somebody else, it'll kind of daisy chain to other players and provide some healing. Whereas Group Healing looks like as long as you heal one player in the party, everybody will receive healing. I'm not sure if you'll have to aim at everybody or aim at somebody to get it or if it'll just automatically hit every player. but. Two new skills and healing. This is very exciting. Very, very happy to see a group healing. It's going to make life much easier. I will definitely be farming for these during the event. Decorate your winter star sweet home by collecting festive materials, mistletoe branches obtained from clearing the winter star realm. So if you're defeating the baby Krampus and the hardwood Krampus, you'll get uh, the mistletoe branches. You can craft various cute winter star furniture at the crafting table using these. Crafting building materials requires unlocking Carpenter 2, so you're going to need to spend that SD, I'm sorry, that White Dragonite to unlock these. The recipes can be exchanged at Eason's Winter Star Shop, requiring Winter Star Currency Spruce Twigs for exchange. Spruce Twigs can be attained by completing event quests, so that would be the Gingerbread House quest and the mailing quest. Some rare furniture can be obtained through Winter Star Realms or exchanged in the Winter Star Festival Shop. And here's five new items that are coming out with the furniture. Uh, we haven't seen these before. We have bow pine leaves, snowdrift, penguin, my absolute favorite. I'm definitely getting penguins. Marimba, which is an actual instrument you can, you can play similar, similar to the um, the drums that we got during the, uh, the boat festival. And a giant star lantern. And past furniture is making a return. You see we have a lot of different items. Winter star tree, windowsill pendant, bathtub, cane, accessory cabinet, windowsill, types of carpet, mahogany glass door, a couple recliners, some chairs, colored flags, flower pots, uh, more chairs, gift boxes, shower curtains, gingerbread people, more curtains. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. There's fountains, albums, a lot of more decoration items you can uh, place around your co-home. You got bells, snowmen, Santa dolls, snowflakes, uh, the stocking pendants, and a dining table. Exclusive holiday sailboat. Three type of exclusive Winter Star sailboats reintroduced. Now can be crafted through the craft table. You need to unlock the recipes. The recipe can be exchanged for at the Winter Star Festival shop. So these boats have always been locked just because we haven't had this specific event, but now we can unlock it so we can make different types of boats with different sails. So finally, 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 we have some more boat designs besides just the original boat and the World 3 boat. And here's the uh, Mystery Festival shop. We see Winter Star Sailboat Indigo's there. It's gonna take ocean coins. So make sure you're going out there and collecting those ocean chests so you can go ahead and unlock these. 50 spruce twigs. The Mystery Realm Pass, you can actually buy more of them per day. That's 100 there. I don't know if this is gonna be like the Samurai event where you can only get one extra a day. We'll find out when the event goes up. We have Winter Star Trees available. And then these are the recipes for some of those items that we saw earlier. So it's gonna take a lot of spruce twigs. You may not be able to buy everything, so you might wanna coordinate with other members of your co-home to find out who's buying what recipes, so that way you guys can all craft different items for each other to get all of the Winter Star Festival items. And we have a new wardrobe item for the Winter Star Festival. The Winter Wishes and Cozy Fluffs this is a brand new costume. It looks great in my opinion. I love the little antlers on top. A lot of great detail went into this. Also returning are the um, latest, I'm sorry, the previous Winter Star outfits. So here we have the green costume with the penguin on the scarf there. I'm looking forward to this one. I, When I was on the EU server, I always wore this costume. And then there's the red version. 
So a lot of the decorations up here as well looks fantastic. World chests have received an update. So we used to be able to locate these world chests all over Breeze Plain. Guess what? They're increasing them to Chant Forest as well. So you have those normal chests, so they have a little bit of a different design. That little silver frame around the wood and then the uh, Chant Forest. Uh, well, we don't know actually if these are gonna be separated between Chant Forest and Breeze Plain. You see that there's a superior chest and a normal chest. No idea what's gonna be in the chest, so looking forward to finding out. If you guys find any of these chests, take some screenshots, let me know. I wanna go ahead and make some content with that and credit will be given to you. Other optimizations and adjustments. Introduce a new section for ability quests, allowing for the initiation of side quests, unlocking new features such as kite flying, dragon sled, legacy, etc. So it looks like what I'm taking away from this is that the side quests are going to teach us a little bit more about some of these extra abilities that we have in the game, which will be, in my opinion, a win because a lot of new players may not know everything that's available in the game. And this is a great way for them to be introduced to certain mechanics that a lot of veteran players already know. Add wind current to outpost and watchtower. Now adventurers are able to reach the tops by using the kites. So this is really great. That watchtower climb was so annoying. Now we can actually ride to the top using a kite. I absolutely love this. I think they should do this anywhere else if there's a big climb, but you will have to use your kite, so you will lose a little bit of durability, but fantastic upgrade. Very happy to see this. Reduce the difficulty level of Breeze Plane quests. That's a big win too. Some of the Breeze Plane quests were a little annoying or too difficult, so it's nice to see that they're making things easier for newer players. Mystery Realm difficulty adjustments. Simplify mechanics across all difficulty levels in Breeze Plane and Chant Forest Realms, reducing the number of mobs in normal difficulties. So this is gonna throw all of my previous uh, Mystery Realm guides out the window. Well, we are expecting if they're making things less difficult. I'm going to be running through all of the dungeons at some point. I'll probably do this on stream so everybody can see it too. And just have a, um, a comparison of what it used to be to what it is now. And giving a bit more insight. And then eventually I'll come out with updated videos. I'm happy I didn't complete that whole um, playlist of videos because we did have the, these changes. So I'm curious to see what they're coming out with. There. Life skill adjustments. Life skills increase one point every two levels starting from level 10. And... Basic level one for blacksmith, tailoring, hunting, and alchemy no longer require life skill points for learning. This is huge. We are going to be able to take all the tasks from like the low level where you know you need to have specific ingredients to make your armor, for example. If you're a knight, you need to have copper and you need to have flax thread. Well, now everybody will be able to access those. So you won't be limited in the beginning of the game and moving forward we're going to have enough life skill points to to handle two tier three skills and still have basic level one on other skills um a lot of people are definitely going to benefit from this and i think this is a great change it'll take a little bit longer to get to the higher levels but starting at level 10 that's when you start to use a lot of the tier two gear. So getting to tier two on some of those skills kind of works out just fine with that level 10 uh, minimum increase. Recipe adjustments. Adjust materials number needed for beginner equipment recipes. Add breeze plane kite. They added a new kite. So I'm wondering if this is going to be a less durable kite but easier to make or if it's just a different style. We'll find out more. Adjust the number of materials needed for the kite. Nice, we needed that. Kites were pretty expensive to make. And then added a recipe for expired food. This is also a great, uh, a great helpful change for a lot of newer players. Now, we get a lot of expired food over time playing the game, especially at higher levels. People who have put more hours into the game, if you're doing a lot of farming, collecting a lot of food items, expired food becomes plentiful. This is a huge help for the new players or trying to complete their quest, but may not know to go look at different shops for those expired food stacks that people put up for zero SD. So again, another thing to help newer players really move forward. Auto equip tool. After update, mining, gathering, and tree chopping will automatically equip tools in the backpack if no tools are equipped. I actually like this myself because there's been so many times where I will have them in my backpack, but if 
my previous item broke and I didn't have any more in my backpack, I would have to go into the backpack and manually equip that item again. Um, it's more of just a small quality of life update, but I'm interested to see if it would automatically equip between different levels. So if you're say using a copper pickaxe versus iron pickaxe, will it automatically select between those two tiers of pickaxes? Find out more about that tomorrow. Addition of private events and increased seed drop rate. I don't know what they mean by this. Addition of private events, this could mean a number of things. It could be something in the game, like for example, it could be an event that happens in World 3, or it could be player created events. No clue what this means whatsoever, so I'm very, very, very confused by this one, but hopefully we'll find out uh, exactly what that means tomorrow. And the increased seed drop rate is kind of nice. It makes life just a little bit easier to get the plant. And then bug fixes. Rectify the bug causing irregular jumping height during the double jump while riding mounts in specific states. This one, I'm a little bit of a toss up. So right now, if you have a mount with double jump, you can get quite a bit of height whenever you're using your mount. If you were to jump and then immediately use the double jump, the momentum carries you extremely high. And a lot of veteran players use these to quickly navigate the map, reach certain places, makes life much easier for those who spent the time and the SD to get the double jump. My worry here is that they're going to change this so the double jump height is not as high. So we'll have to see exactly what happens and we'll do a comparison. I'm going to try to get some more footage tonight so that way I can do a side by side comparison if the height is uh, is actually changed compared to what we're used to and exactly what they mean by this bug fix. But that's going to be it for this update. Again, this comes out tomorrow. It's going to last a little bit over two weeks. I'm very excited for this update, mostly because I've wanted my green Christmas costume back. I've wanted it back for many, excuse me, many, many months. So very excited to see this back in the game. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you like it, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Or if you'd like to see any other video ideas, let me know in the comments below. Um, consider subscribing. It's absolutely free to do so. And it'll give you notifications when, whenever you get any updates from my channel, you can hit that little bell there to get the notification on the bell icon at the top right of your YouTube page. You can also check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash stepfreak, where I'll be playing this during the, the, the entire event. If you're trying to look for a party, let me know. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Happy holidays, adventurers.